Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning. Big change from yesterday. Partly cloudy, mostly blue sky right now. There we go, blue sky. Bit of a breeze out there, still pretty, a pretty rough surf. 58 degrees right now. So we must be having an onshore breeze still by the looks of those waves out there. Today's high is going to be right up around 70. Low tide's going to be happening oh, at around 11.30 this morning. Although with these waves, it won't be an extreme low tide. There might be some good shelling out here today with these waves, though. Beautiful out here. Come on there, camera adjust. There we go. Camera's having a hard time adjusting to the light for some reason this morning. Yesterday, Roy got out of here without us having to, without me having a chance to chat with him. We all run into him this morning. The tide is going out now. I'm sure there's going to be lots of shells on the beach when the tide goes out. Nice little cluster of shells right here. One of our little scallops. One of our little scallop shells. And there's a jewel box down here. We always find these jewel boxes. <clears throat> now I can smell the red tide in the air still. Darn it. Definitely can feel it in the air when you breathe. Walk down the beach a little ways here. See what we come across. Boy, yesterday we saw quite a few of those big red drum fish that had died from the red tide. That was sad. There's a big puffer fish on the beach. Such neat fish. What a shame to see him washed up on the beach like this. That just goes to show you the wide variety of fish we have offshore here. That's a poor puffer fish that succumbed to the red tide. Beautiful out here though, the weather. Gosh. It's kind of nice having these waves. Nice little change.
How far down shall I go? Come on. We're in Area 4, the Del Norwegians Pass, which is in North Naples, Florida. Actually right next to Naples Park. Just north of Vanderbilt Beach. Beautiful park, a mile of beach here. And as you can see, there's no homes or condos. It's all natural. They don't do a lot here to maintain the beach other than pick up the trash and occasionally pick up the dead fish that wash up on shore from the red tide. Other than that, this beach is left to its own doing. It's always changing shape and size. You can see here we've been having some erosion over the past couple of days. We've had a pretty rough surf. It's much worse up towards the north end of the park here. We'll take a walk up there. But this is uh, very rough for the Gulf of Mexico. Usually we don't have waves like this. It's usually pretty calm on the Gulf side of Florida. The Atlantic side, that's a whole different story. They get lots of waves over on the other, other coast of Florida. But for us, these are some pretty big waves. Makes it hard to see the dolphins. They're offshore here. We probably won't see any dolphins this morning. There are lots of shells. You can see them washing up on the beach here. Again, low tide's gonna be happening about 11.30 if you're in Southwest Florida. So, might be a great day for shelling. A lot of times a rough surf brings a lot of nice shells up on the beach. Kind of sad seeing these poor fish washed up on the beach. There's one of those big red drum fish. Sad to see these guys here. a good sized fish down there. You can see by my hand how big that fish is. There were quite a few of them on the beach. Didn't see any sharks washed up from the red tide. So a lot of puffer fish, a lot of mullet, the big red drum, catfish, all different types of catfish. Oh, sad, there's another, there's another <laughs> drum. Red, red fish. There's a mullet over here. Hopefully this red tide's gonna be moving on pretty soon. Some pretty nice little waves here for the Gulf.
Let's walk up the beach. Let's head north. That beautiful sky this morning. I remember yesterday. Wow. What a difference. What a difference a day makes. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky this morning. size of those redfish that have washed up on the beach. They're large fish. It's big, huh? I ate some redfish. Yeah, there's a bunch of them along the beach. Yeah, there's a sea, there's red tide. I, I know. Is it me? Oh. Yeah. Talking about the red tide. It's making everybody cough out here at the beach. They say it's safe to go swimming, but I don't know. I'd stay out of the water. Roy's been out swimming with Bill. Nice little waves for if you want to get out here on your paddle board and do a little surfing on your paddle board. Right where these waves are starting to break, that's where the sandbar is. That sandbar pretty much parallels the whole beach here at Wiggins. Head up to Area 5, walk up to Wiggins Pass, stop and say good morning to Roy, and have a little chat with him at the end of my beach walk this morning. Go check on the cockle shell that I hung on the tree yesterday, make sure it's still there. People don't realize when they see the shells a lot of times hanging on the tree that people hung them there for a reason. They have some sentimental value to people. And sometimes somebody will see a nice shell and they'll just take it as a souvenir from the tree. There's that breeze blowing. Wow. Temperature's right around 60 here. that was. That's a wild looking fish right there. There's all kinds of interesting fish offshore here swimming along the reef. Gorgeous out here. Other than that pesky red tide, you get a whiff of it every now and then. And it chokes you. There's a nice cockle shell on the beach. That's a pretty one. That's a nice cockle right there. 
Nice specimen. You can find these cockles in all sizes, from smaller than your pinky nail all the way up to the size of your hand. that poor puffer fish again. A little puffer. He's all puffed up. It's hard to get a picture of his face. <laughs> His face, yeah, it's like over I'm here. Get my yeah, there he is. It's, um, my granddaughter has got a thing about pufferfish, uh -oh. so I've got to get a picture. Yeah, of sadly, it's not swimming around. No. Poor little pufferfish passed away. I see Roy up there. Looks like Roy. Oh, anything interesting down here? All these little tiny shells. Again, these are the ones that I like to stop and look at. And this is where I find some little gems. Not always, but at times. Excuse me. A couple nice little scallop shells right there next to each other. Nothing's jumping out at me here. I want to make my way up the beach. On this gorgeous Thursday morning. Excuse me, that's from that red tide, that cough there. Lots of shells, you can see them when the waves roll back here. You can start to see all the shells that are going to be exposed at low tide. All that rough surf we've had the past couple days probably gonna have some really nice shelling. A lot of sea foam. Excuse me. Nothing I can do about that. It's probably not a good idea if you have a, you know allergies to come out to the beach during this red tide. It's not going to kill you. It's just going to be annoying. If 
the wind would turn around and blow offshore, it'd be great. Keep the red tide offshore. It's when it blows in from the Gulf, it blows that red tide in in the air. That's what gets to you. Boy, there's a pile of shells there. Man. Who knows what all could be buried in there. Little cockle shell right there. Little, little scallop. Boy. What? Yeah, you just gotta kinda take some time and sift through these. If you're lucky, you might even find a shark's tooth buried in here. Definitely looks a lot different than it did yesterday morning when I was out here. Heck. No rain this morning. Partly cloudy. Still a little breezy. I see our buddies here. Roy's here. There's his chair. He hadn't set it up yet. That means he's up the beach here somewhere, up towards the pass at the north end. That's where our osprey nest is, right up in the center of that tree right up there. I don't hear him screeching out this morning. You can see as the further north we go here along the beach, you can see there's been some more erosion here up in area five. Well, there's the osprey. There they are, hear them in the background chirping. Whew, that breeze is hitting me right in the face here. ridge line there that's about a foot high maybe a foot and a half now it's getting a little higher now it's a good two feet along here hurricane irma brought a dumped a lot of sand on our beach now just the past few days we've lost a lot of it again but it just comes and goes Nothing you can do about it. They're not gonna waste a lot of money renourishing this beach. Mother Nature does it all on her own. Oh, looks like a dead mullet over here, yeah. That's a mullet. There's a lot of shells right here, all little ones, all down here. Wow, it's like a carpet. They're so thick. Huh. 
Not seeing anything though right offhand. A lot more erosion here. Well, there's two turtles left here. Yesterday there were three. Well, there's one and a half left. I think they started out with four. There was the mama and there were four little babies going out. Now we're down to one and a half little turtles. Look back down the beach, looking south. Low tide's at 11.30 today. If you wanna come out and try your luck at shelling, you never know what the waves are gonna Deposit on the beach here. See the water, the waves are just chipping away at the beach here. There goes a flock of pelicans. Here comes Roy, his way down here.
go check that shell tree out, see if that cockle shell is still there. That I hung for everybody yesterday. Should be. Oof, breezy. Breezy, breezy. is another one of our shell trees. There's several of them up here. <clears throat> hey Rob, how are you doing? What's up, Daddy O? that red tide still smell that yeah i got a little bit of a cough this morning in yeah. the eyes but yesterday was murder with that big surf breaking oh yeah red tide was, you never did come back did you yeah God. i did it started raining though yeah i yeah. saw did you see the rainbow the complete yeah. arch yeah oh that was that glorious beach. yeah yeah that's when the rain started yeah i got kind of wet watching it but it was sure worth it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it complete was arch, ocean to ocean. You don't see that too often. Nope. Boy. Didn't last very long, but no. And uh, then before that, I had a double. Yeah, yeah, that one early in the morning. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. That oh was boy. Neat. Oh boy. What a day. Oh, we gotta get out of the breeze. I think. Yeah, I'll come down there. I'll be back down. You gotta stick around this morning. Oh yeah, yeah. No plunge today, huh? I don't know. It it's pretty on rough. Old I don't think that's. Yeah, a little kind of cold wind. Yeah, it's pretty rough too. All right, I'll be down in a little while. Okay, Rob. Good to see you. Yep, always. I'll go check in with Roy in a little while here. Just take a look up at Wiggins Pass. See what it looks like this morning as the tide's going out. Some of our trees that Hurricane Irma knocked over. Shame on her. Our sea grape trees. This is where Roy used to sit. Had a great shot of him actually sitting on that branch right there. It used to be parallel to the ground. We used to call it his throne. Irma just picked it up and tossed it up on the beach. used to be so pretty down here the trees used to hang arch over right along the edge of the water now they're all knocked down Check on the cockle shell. Oh, we'll check on the cockle shell that I hung yesterday on the way back. I forget what tree I hung it on. There's about half a dozen of them up here now. Well, that wind's really picking up here at the, the end of the beach. Whoo! Yeah, there's actually a couple fishermen up here. Hard to believe. Well, I didn't think there'd be any fishermen out here today, but there are. <coughs> I 
This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is Wiggins Pass. This is where you come if you want to go fishing. It's the only place you're allowed to fish in the park up at the north end. Not allowed to swim up here, fishing only. Holy smokes. There's quite a few fishermen out here. Sorry about the wind. Yeah, the fishermen are lined up all along the pass here this morning. Was not expecting to see any out here. It's pretty rough as you can see. Wow, the fishermen go all the way down around the end of the beach there. Wow. That's the end of the beach. The end or the beginning, however you want to look at it. Well, this is just about as far as you can go at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is the Coquihatchee River here. Wiggins Pass being the mouth of the Coquihatchee. As we look across, over here, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve. There's a mile of beach there, over a mile, 6,200 feet of beach at Barefoot Beach. That's looking out Wiggins Pass. Beautiful. Thursday morning here in North Naples. Boy, the wind is really jostling the camera around. Some beautiful sunset views from those condos there, I'm sure. Looking out Wiggins Pass, wow. Walk back down the beach and check in with our buddy Roy.
photo, bear with me. Big difference from yesterday morning. Still got a rough surf. Eating away at the beach here. Still got some red tide lingering. If I look back here towards the east, you can see how much beach has been eroded. Beautiful morning though. There's the trail that kind of parallels the beach if you go up there. That's where all the picnic tables and barbecue grills are on that pathway. It runs all along the beach, just behind the trees.
I can't believe it. This is where I hung the cockle shell yesterday and somebody took it off the tree. There. Some people are jerks. There. This is where the cockle shell was hanging, right here. Well, I'm glad I took a picture of it. Why would somebody do that? clouds out there. Break up that blue sky. They look lonely. <laughs> You're just tuning in. We're up in North Naples, Florida. At Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Just walking along the beach. We're walking south right now. Pretty nice morning, partly cloudy skies. This is actually rough for the Gulf of Mexico. It's usually relatively calm over here on the west coast of Florida. We do have red tide. Oh, there's a big jellyfish. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. This is a huge jellyfish here. He's upside down. There's his tentacles there underneath. That's a big jellyfish. Hopefully, he'll get washed back out. Tides on his way. That's neat. You can see inside him there. That is a big jellyfish. Let's see if I can put him back in the water. I, I got long pants on. I don't want to get soaked. Hopefully, I'll wash back out there. I think the, the current the waves pulled them back out. Cool. Morning. <coughs> Coughing because of the red tide here. Just get some whiffs of it every once in a while with the breeze. It's not as bad as it was last week, that's for sure. A lot of sea foam here. See all the erosion we've had along the beach as well from these waves. Stop here and turn and give you a look up the beach. A mile of beach here at Del Norwegians. This is area five. Five areas at the beach, one being the Closest to the entrance, 5B in the northernmost part. This is area 5 we're looking at right now.
lots of easy access here. Five parking lots, all with multiple access points to the beach, bathhouses, showers, picnic tables scattered all throughout the park with barbecue grills. little sea turtle sand sculpture kind of been falling off into the gulf here there was four little babies behind the mama now there's only half of one left I'm gonna take a picture of that. Stand by while I snap off a quick photo. We lose our feed when I go into the photo mode for a second. see Roy. I, I see his chair, but I don't see him sitting up here. We missed our chat with him yesterday. I did see him earlier on the beach here. Good morning. Oh, I just did picture of her. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> People want to be kind and stop and not walk through the picture, but it's like, go for it. Isn't that beautiful?
Beautiful blue sky. Look at that. Wow. our own little slice of paradise up here in North Naples. Well, I thought I saw Roy here. I don't know where he is. Here's his beach chair. Oh, he's way down the beach. Roy's way, way down there. Walking south. I don't know if we're going to catch up with them this morning or not. The tide's on its way out. Low tide's uh, going to happen around 11:30. You can see it's starting to get really shallow here. This is area four. getting away from me this morning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to him and chat or not. He's walking down the beach. boardwalk that I started this morning, where I started this morning, right there, there's the end of it. It's right in the middle of parking lot four. It's one of my favorite places to start my beach walks. See if I can catch up to Roy. I 
Got to get moving along here. I got things to do this morning. There's Roy, he's up there ahead of me, finally. Check in here with Roy, see if he's got anything to say. See if he's got any advice for us, some encouraging words. It's nice when he shares his wisdom with us. 93 years old. World War II and Korean War veteran. Well, we meet again. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> so did you see anything interesting on your walk this morning? Well, beautiful, beautiful wave coming in, and the blue skies, and the wind blowing, and uh, surf, surf roaring, and white beaches, and yep. glorious sun coming down. The so sun beating on us. Everything's great. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. A little rough, I think, for a plunge, though. Yeah, I old Bill and Stella just came down, and uh, so we'll see what he's going to do. If yeah. it warms up. But you know, there's some red tide kind of. Oh yeah, it's still getting, out here. That's yeah, getting sure. my throat to my eyes. I don't know how long I'm gonna stick around with the red tide. Yeah, <laughs> it's not fun. It's really bad for people with allergies. Yeah, it I really imagine so. Messes them up. Gosh. So you got any uh, advice for us? Advice? Yeah, you always got advice. <laughs> free advice. <laughs> free advice. We come to you for free advice. Well, my advice is. Uh, and I think I've said it a hundred times, but I'm still saying it. We gotta hang in there. Hang in there. That's and enjoy the, the journey. You got that right. Yeah. So hang in there. Enjoy the journey, the glory, and the wonder of it, and keep striving. Yeah. That's the word I was thinking about that this morning. Strive. So strive, but with caution. There you go. Strive cautiously. Okay. So you gotta keep proceeding with caution. That makes sense. Yeah. That's the word of the day. Drive. Because <laughs> I'm going to do that myself. I'm thinking about uh, possibly uh, checking out, uh, maybe getting in some remodeling of some old homes or something oh, yeah? like that. So it could be good. I'd like to do that. New adventure, yeah. Uh, that'd be fun. I, I have to do it cautiously. Absolutely. So that's what I was saying to myself. I've got to proceed, but proceed cautiously. Ooh, this wind is really kicking in here. Isn't that so? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. All right, well, I'm glad I got to see you today. I, yeah. missed you. I saw you a little bit in there yesterday, but the rain came and you left. And oh, there was a rainbow. I got delayed man, there. Yeah, yeah, that rainbow was nice yesterday. Out of this world. Yeah. Yeah, there was a winter. Did you get rained on too? Oh, yeah. I did too. I got soaking wet. Yeah. We need the rain, though. Well, it was worth it to see the rainbow. Oh, it was. <laughs> Always. All right. Okay, Roy. Roy, I'll see you when I see you. Always wonderful. Always. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Strive.
<laughs> cautiously. Yeah, yeah. Drive yeah. with Everything. caution. Everything cautiously. Exactly. Keep Everything. Proceeding. There you go. Keep driving and keep. I love it. Forging ahead. Forge ahead cautiously. You got it. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Take care, Roy. Whew, windy out here. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. When you do, hit the like button. More importantly, hit the share button. We're getting close to 20,000 followers or friends here. We've got over 20,000 followers. I wanna get 20,000 likes. I wanna get 30,000 likes and 30,000 followers. So spread the word. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Thursday. Southwest Florida Television. I'm Rob Stan. God bless.